Hello, everybody. Just making sure we're streaming properly in here. Say hi as you're popping on. Just going to get everything organized and we will get started. All right, that looks fine. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, tonight we are doing, and Dana just sent me this awesome little, I think it's a sponge actually, this awesome little sponge that says better than takeout Epicure on it. It came in the mail today. Um, Dana is my now direct upline mentor. She's been in the company 23 years this month. So she just sent me this little gift pack um, for registering for conference is thanks for investing in your business. So it's perfect timing because our theme tonight is better than takeout. So I've got two appetizers planned for you all. Just want to make sure those pins don't land in my dinner. Um, two appetizers planned, uh, main course, and I already pre-did the dessert, so you don't have to watch me do that. But I did a little bit of math earlier today. So I put up a poll in the group earlier this week asking people what their favorite takeout meals were. And I put my usual go-to epicures, pad thai, beef and broccoli, um, fried rice, those sort of favorites. And Julie and Lee both commented um, chicken parmesan, which I hadn't had on my radar. But we're gonna do something with that tonight. So I did a little bit of math tonight and or this afternoon, and a, do you want to put this in the bowl? Yeah, just like, get on my chair. You should probably turn it the other way, but okay. Did you say fried rice? I'm not making fried rice. Ah, uh, okay, make something old school. Pominous. Okay. Long as that. And uh, a chicken parmesan from Eastside Mario's is $26, plus tax and tip. So, we're going to make chicken parmesan tonight. We're going to make two appetizers. I'm going to make stuffed mushroom caps. And we're going to make bruschetta, and then I'm going to show you the dessert that I prepared earlier today. So, all in all, when I totaled this up, two appetizers plus chicken parm plus dessert for one person takeout is about $50. Mom, why'd you put a crown in your stomach? Because it was frozen. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you put that cheese in there? Yeah. Oh, I know how to do it. So that's not including your tip, that's not including your drinks. Yeah, in the bowl, please. You washed your hands good. Um, so about $50 for, for one serving. My Epicure meal tonight, total, four servings, is going to be $37. That includes your seasoning, that includes your groceries. So I'm excited to show you guys how you can get a better than takeout meal on the table for less money in less time. Do you have every crumb of cheese in? Okay. Um, less time, less money, and I mean, think of the sodium and the other things that you're saving on, right? So, we're going to put together Epicure's Classic Extraordinary Trio. So, we're going to put, we just put in a cup of mayo, a cup of grated cheese, and a brick of cream cheese, which is also a cup. So, we're going to put one tablespoon of What's that one? Lemon dilly. Lemon dilly. Yeah. What's the next one we're going to put in? Are you Mm-hmm. The next one we're going to put in is three onion. Three onion. And this is what we're going to use to stuff our mushroom caps. So my three onions are almost done, so we're just going to go like this. Uh-huh. The next one we're going to use is CCV. CCB. Okay, so you could bake this dip in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes or so. But I'm going to do it in the microwave because I want to put my mushroom caps in the oven once I stuff them. And I don't have time to wait around for those guys to be ready. Um, please don't do that. We're not doing that right now. I was just checking. So I'm going to start warming this up, getting it all melted through. Sometimes it's too big. Sometimes it's too big. Well, it's going to be too big because we have to cut it in half, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. My silicone knife is going to be a good spatula today for um, softening up my butter. So I've just cut up some pieces of baguette tonight for our bruschetta. How much herb and garlic should we put in the uh, butter? Mm, that much? Yeah. Okay. A tablespoon-ish. You want to show them that one? So we're going to brush our baguette with herb and garlic. Herb and garlic makes the best garlic bread. Now, I don't know about you, appetizers are sort of my jam. I would just have a whole tray of appetizers at the restaurant if I could. Uh, but I guess we'll make the main course too tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are we going to use this next one? Like uh, no, we're not going to use that on the butter. So, I just left this butter on the counter, it softened up, and then we're just making a herbaceous no, garlicky it's butter. We found a quarter. Uh -huh. There you go, that's your pay for tonight. <laughs> I find it like s sort of sitting under here. So this is going to make delicious garlic bread and then we're going to top it with the tomatoes for the bruschetta after it's all toasty and melty and delicious. I can hear the cheese popping in there asking me to mix it. So the silicone knife is not only awesome for cutting in your steamers, no, it's also it great. Oh good, that was what I put it in there to do. It's also great to use as a long spatula, reaching down in those peanut butter jars. They are long. Is what? I mean, they are very tall. The peanut butter jars are long, yeah, they're tall. Long and tall. Long is the as tall. Uh, sort of. I think long is this way and tall is this way. Okay. If you say so. I thought that was wide. Wide. What do you think? Yeah. Alright, we got all that delicious garlic <laughs> butter in there. Uh. Ooh. Okay. So, how's our dip looking? Melty? <laughs> delicious? Melty and delicious. Very melty and delicious. That's what I like to hear. We just want to get that brick of cream cheese. <laughs> Soft. Melted, softened, so that we can mix this all together. It actually looks really hard. It's not like, like oozing down. Mm -hmm. So Extraordinary Trio is awesome as just a dip, a hot dip, which are some of my favorite things. Um, I've also used it as a pizza base. I've used it as a pasta sauce. I just eat it out of the bowl. <laughs> it's my favorite. Eating it out of the bowl? And if you've never tried the Extraordinary Trio, put it on your list. Because the seasonings can also be used individually as a pantry staple. But they're also delicious. When you mix them together with some ooey gooey cheesy. Now, I used um, <clears throat> the half fat mayo for this dip. If you've ever made a hot dip and got sort of that oil slick on the top, I'm opening this in your face. Thank you. That's the extra fat in the mayo. So if you're making a hot dip, pro tip, make it with the half the fat mayo. So I'm gonna stuff these guys. What do you think? Should we put a little crispy crunchy coating on top of these? Yes. Yes? Dad will like it. Dad will like it? What? You and it. Me and Dad, you're not gonna have any cheesy mushrooms? I mean, yeah, I don't like mushrooms. No, right. What if they're filled with cheesy deliciousness? Uh -uh. Not even? Nope. No. Does it smell good? Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, look. This looks like... I know. So I got the naturally imperfect mushrooms, and some of them are doubles. I'm going to show the camera. They might not be able to see that close. If you go to No Frills, they have the discounts on the naturally imperfect, so they're not the prettiest... Um, produce, but they're super reasonably priced, and uh, sort of you get a whole lot of them. And yeah, apparently my mushrooms today are doubled because they were the 
imperfect ones. Well, you better hurry, because I'm going to use it. But it was five bucks for a big thing of mushrooms, and any way I can save on produce these days is a win. Even if I get a double mushroom. So I just put our bread in to toast. And I'm filling our mushroom caps here with crispy crunch, or crispy crunchy coating. I'm looking at the crispy crunchy coating, filling it with Extraordinary Trio. Why it's filling Shane in on what I was just saying. <laughs> and he's back. Are you back? Yeah. Okay. Well, you're going to have to fill both those holes. I know. Do you think I could, like, smear it across the top and you won't see the two holes anymore? Maybe. Maybe. You can just cut the middle off. Chester came running, too. He wants to see what all the excitement's about. All right, then this little one. Which only needs a small bit. Would you mind if on your fingers? And now there's some dip left for me for another time with some flatbread. Mm -hmm. Back in the oven, Mom? Well, do you think we should put some crispy coating on them? Uh-huh. So my crispy crunchy coating comes obviously in a sachet. I'm going to pinch. I'm going to just pinch it. Um, <laughs> but I always, sometimes I only use a half package. It's hard to get in. I'm going to use a spoon. Watch. How about if we do this? Uh, yes, please. And just give a little Mommy. Um, I always store it in an empty spice jar. So this is like an empty three onion or something to that effect. The hex jars, as they call them in the biz. But save your jars. Take the labels off, put them in the dishwasher. They're great for storing salad dressings. They're great for little sorry, snacks. Oh, sorry. They're great for part meal solutions. Oh, you only need a teaspoon this time. Part packs meal solutions so you don't have little bags open all over your cupboard. Okay, so one little bit more. Oh, sorry, a little bit there. Yep, yeah, okay. And a little bit there. Just put a little bit right. Okay, can I put this in the oven now? And can I put this in the dishwasher? No, you cannot. I mean, you need it. Nope, thank you. We're still going to use it. Okay. Hey! Don't fall in the dishwasher. I'll try not to. Okay. Okay, so those babies are going in the oven. And the other one's coming out. Garlic butter is melting in there. Okay, let's get our chicken rocking and rolling. Yes. I don't know what you're saying, but it's not important right now. I need to get these things over here. Other than me. standing sort of in my way. I want to, I want to, <coughs> I want to use these big the meeting. Okay. You need to just chill for a second, okay? Okay. Okay, so like I said earlier, we're going to do uh, chicken parmesan. Once I make some space. So, for chicken parmesan, we need uh, marinara sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Why? I'm going to use it. I need it. What right now? Doing? Yes. Okay, I'll put the seasoning in. We need a marinara sauce, I just said. How much are you going to put in? About that much? Yeah, a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more? A little bit more. Enough. A little bit more. Enough. So I've got a can of crushed tomatoes in here, and why I put a little bit and a little bit more of marinara, <laughs> marinara seasoning. Want to show your friends what that looks like? So we'll just give that a little whisk around. Well, my hands are always shaky. All right, so, I'm sure it's okay. So every time you show, try to show seasoning, it looks a little bit shaky. Okay, I'm going to put three spoons in the bottom of that? Yep. Eh. Okay, so I just have a pound Why? of chicken breast here. I've cut it into four pieces. Get I'm going to throw up, 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 our in. crispy crunchy coating. How much of crispy crunchy coating am I using? Half a cup. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if... You have a half a cup? I wonder if I have a half a cup. Let's put that in there, actually. And then we can maybe put a little bit more. Then we'll refill the I'll jar. Put three in there, Mom. Thank you. Can you spread it across the bottom? Yeah. So half a cup of, I'm looking at my notes here, crispy crunchy coating. We're going to put two tablespoons of parm and it's one berry. tablespoon of everybody's favorite, rosemary garlic. So where did you put my spoon? Right here. 
You put it there, actually. I did? Yeah, you did. Huh. Well, that was a good idea of me, wasn't it? Um, I think I spread it out. Spread it what? Too much? No, I spread it out. Okay, one tablespoon of rosemary garlic. I did make a little bit of a blob, though. A little bit of a blob? Yeah, because, uh, yeah, when I lift the spoon up, it blobbed. Okay. No big deal. I'll just shake it around a bit. Did you get rid of the blob? There, so there's the spot now. All right, let's just give this a little toss around so that we can get it all coated up. Okay, did you find? Did you grab some tongs? Is that where you're up to? Yes. Yeah, we did. Okay. So we're gonna take a piece of chicken. Here, let's let's switch sides. Take a piece of chicken. Dip it in this in the breading. Okay, we want to get it real coated. I'll try my best. Okay. Flip it in around. Get it nice and coated in there. So, we're going to use a steamer tonight, and we're going to make our chicken parm in the microwave. <clears throat> of course, you could do this on a sheet pan inside the oven. Yeah. You could do... I think I need a little bit of help for mixing it. I'm just going to press it. You could do this in a sheet pan in the oven. You could do it in a frying pan on the stove top. Um, how about... But we're going to do it in 10 minutes I, I, in the microwave. How about I put the chicken in there and you squish it around? Okay. Okay. That's why we're doing so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That looks really coated up. That looks really coated? <laughs> yeah. Should I put it in then? I think you should put the sneezing a little bit, yeah. The sneezing? Seasoning. Oh, the seasoning. Not sneezing. Not the sneezing. Ah. All right, so we'll get these guys all coated up so that we can get them cooking. Okay? One more. One more. That's one. Okay. Then we can put the towels in the sink. Yep, we're going to put the tongs in the sink to put the tongs in the dishwasher. Right? And the plate in the dishwasher too? In the what? Plate? Yeah, yeah. the plate. But is it, isn't everything clean? No, it's definitely not clean. Everything's dirty. Okay, so we've got uh, four pieces of chicken. Okay. You pass me these. I'll put that in. <coughs> like that? No. In the cutlery thing. Okay. Tongs okay. down. All right, let's see where we're at. We got a little. Stop, we move out of the way. So we're going to put the lid on this. Epicure says six to eight minutes. So that means in my microwave, it's probably 10 minutes. So we'll do that. I'm doing need these mushrooms and, no, mushrooms. Right. What do we need? Do we need these? Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. Great news. Now we get this. Yeah. Yay! I'm ready. Because now we're going to make... Oh, guys! What? I forgot a step. You got me all distracted. We forgot to cover it with cheese. Oh! That's, that's what this cheese was for. Oh, okay. You can't have chicken parm without it being covered in mozzarella but cheese. I want to do some. I okay. think you do too. Okay, you do them. Get it all covered. Get it all covered in cheesy goodness. Yeah, more over here. And the chicken. I the whole thing. So we got a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese okay. here. <clears throat> Let's just make sure we did what we were supposed to. One and a half cups of marinara on the bottom of the steamer. We did our breading. We coated our chicken, put it in the steamer, and we covered it with mozzarella. Yes. Okay. Done. Whoa. Phew. I might drop a little bit of cheese for Chester. Oh, I'm sure Chester won't be upset if you dropped a few little bit of cheese for him. He'll be happy. So, let's get that started. Let's get some of the stuff out of the way. Oh, what a great idea you have. Let's use the Epicure Chef knife. Let's use the Epicure Chef knife. But I'm not making, I'm not, we don't need the lemon for our bruschetta. <coughs> We do need our bruschetta seasoning. Okay, don't just press. You need to cut. 
What's your thing? I'm okay. cutting. You're moving on to that. I'm not ready for that. Okay, I'm going to make the bruschetta. I have three-ish small vine going. tomatoes. <laughs> Stop them. Stop messing around. Put it down. Leave it for now. You don't need it right this second. Okay? okay. We're going to do our bruschetta. So our bruschetta needs two cups of tomatoes. That might be a little bit more than that. One tablespoon of bruschetta seasoning. Shake that on. Over the bowl. On the tomatoes, not the stove. Perfect. I'll try not to put it on the stove. And one tablespoon I of olive oil. Then. Then we mix it all up. Okay. Then we put what a great idea. What do we mix up? Do you want to use that? Sure. I don't mind what you want me to mix it up with. And we hold the bowl. Yep. Please. Try not to launch the tomatoes. Yeah. Eh. Trying to mix the best I can. Okay. That's all I can ask for. Hey? But I think we need a little bit more seasoning. Nope. It's all over the sides. You just gotta mix it in. I better mix it. That's okay. Well, at least I'm not doing the extra mixing. Well, you just gotta pick it up and move it around, right? It's on a giant bowl. There we go. Look, all the tomatoes are coated. Yay. Okay, how's that? Yeah. Okay, should we get the bread out? Yeah. Okay, back to truck up. Ah! Ouch, that hurt a lot. Mm-hmm. Bread, come on. All right, so there's our delicious garlicky bread. Now we put that on the bread. Now we're gonna put that on the bread. Okay. So we're just gonna do a few right now. So maybe do Two or three with the tomatoes right now. I'll do. I'll start with three. Okay, start with three. Actually, why can't I start with four? Because I'm not sure if I want to eat four pieces of bruschetta today. Start with three. Okay. Perfect. All right, so that is our bruschetta. Back, back, go. One. No, the tomatoes stay cold. Okay, last thing we're gonna do tonight is make our dressing for our Caesar salad. That's gonna go. That's gonna go with our chicken. Yeah, we're not gonna squeeze it all the way down though. Like maybe halfway, because we only need one tablespoon. Okay, that's probably good. Hey, do you think that's a tablespoon? A little bit more. A little bit more? Okay. Oh, gotcha. Ah. Gotcha. Hey. Is that a tablespoon? Yeah. Okay. So, one tablespoon of, let's get our Caesar dressing out. See what our directions are. Two tablespoons of mix and mayo or Greek yogurt with one tablespoon of lemon juice and half a cup of olive oil and um, milk. I think we got a little bit of this stuff out of it, like a... Where did my tablespoon go? Oh, it's over here. I don't know. You don't know? Then you put it! <laughs> One. And a two. And a two. And one more, I guess? No. No, we only need two tablespoons. Mayonnaise, yeah! Okay, so we're going to use the full fat mayo for this one. Okay. Two. I'll put it in. You're going to have to wiggle it. Yep. I love we're going to take two tablespoons of mayo. Yeah. Two tablespoons of mix. Two tablespoons of mayo. Yeah, the mayo in there. One tablespoon. No, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Quarter cup of olive oil. We need a quarter cup. I'm glad it doesn't sink in mayo. The mayo smells like a thick and the uh, liquid in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, stop. Orange. 
And milk, please, sir. Milk. Pour it in. Are you going to pour it in the thing? Or are you going to pour it in the coin? Slow down, slow down. Stop. Oh, oh. All right. That kind of looks a little bit moldy. It has like dots in it. Well, that's from the oil separating because we had the oil in there first. Ah, yeah. And so the oil doesn't mix. It's sort of like oh. oil doesn't mix with water, right? Hey, you want to give it a shake? Shake it, baby, shake it. Oh, yeah. one more thing. Just kidding. You can Sneak put some um, crushed. Fresh garlic in if you want. I'm gonna use the roasted garlic aioli just because it makes life a little bit easier if you want it a bit garlickier. Now you can shake it. Shake it till it comes together. I think it's already coming together. <coughs> Pretty fast, hey? I think it's already together. I'm gonna mix it. Pretty speedy. I'm gonna mix it more. Okay. What is that noise? The liquid hitting the lid. This is where you can use your empty spice jars as well for your um, salad dressings. Yes. Get it all shook up. All right. I want to go back up because it's getting hot. Yeah, the oven's at 375. Boy, and you were working hard there shaking the dressing. All right, so before we start plating up our dinner, I want to show you the dessert I put together today. I knew I was something. Do you think that one was yours? Yes. <laughs> Will you? Uh-huh. So today I made a sort of like a Swiss roll cake. I'm going to hold it with you. So you don't watch it. Um, using the chocolate temptation cupcakes, and then the filling is dolce de leche pudding mix with Cool Whip and cream cheese. Oops. So Sorry. stay tuned. I've got a video I'm gonna put together on how I put that, how it all came together today. But I'm, it was a few steps, so I didn't want to have you guys waiting to see that. That's the Wait, I'm back. I made it. I made them look at it backwards. That's the prettiest of the slices. So okay. that's going to be our dessert. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, it's like a plate. So if you missed, oh, I need to put that plate. Yes, wait. Do you put that on the plate? Oh. No, this is dinner. Okay. 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 If you missed the beginning of the video, we did a little bit of math today. So we have our two appetizers, our chicken parm and our dessert. You're going to put a little bit of salad dressing on it? Yep. In a restaurant, um, I looked at Eastside Mario's, um, Portly Piper, and then I could only find mushroom caps at M&M's, but they, were, they worked out for like a dollar each. Just pour slowly. No, no, this is salad dressing for the salad. Um, that whole meal for one person would be just over $50. Mom, should we pour the rest of this in the, those empty jars? I'm not ready. Okay. You want to put some bacon? Sure. My Epicure meal, four portions, four servings. On here? Total for all, on the salad. Total for all four servings, $37. Oh. Oh, Nelly, that's some serious bacon. I'm sorry. That's okay. Total for all four servings, $37, which works out to just over $7 per person instead of our restaurant price of $50 per person. So, should we get this out? Yes. Our mushrooms? I'll back up slowly this time. That's oh, probably a good idea. Maybe. Maybe. Just in time, too. Mushrooms smell good. They look a little burnt though. No, they just browned up. Oh. Okay, let's check on our chicken. Can you put this somewhere else? Thank you. I'll just put this with the, the extra dip that I have. Anywhere but the stove top is right. Okay. Okay, let's check our chicken. Ready? I'm not going to touch it. Woo! Ah! Too much cheese! I think I put too much cheese on! It's never too much cheese. 
Never too much cheese. All right, let's get our meat thermometer out here. Um, can I try and put it in? Make sure it's all cooked up properly. Can I try and put it in? Move it together right here. Don't push it all the way in. Stop. It's coming up. So that was 10 minutes. Epicure says six to eight minutes, but again, everybody's microwave is different. That's why it's important to check with the meat thermometer, which means that this one isn't going to go in, I think, for another two minutes. It's at 138 right now. So we're going to put it back in for another few minutes. <coughs> to make sure that it's all cooked through Another properly. two minutes. Extra two minutes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be aware of what okay. your surroundings. Look at Extra two minutes? Yeah, we put it in for two minutes. Well, why does it look like there's packaging I don't know. I don't know why it looks like it's packaging on it. So, thank you all for jumping in. I will post a picture of this all nicely plated up. You can see how nice our mushrooms came out with the trio on there. Um, if you play it on for three minutes, it's actually two minutes. Because it kicks away a minute while you start it. Kicks away a second. So there's our mushroom caps, our bruschetta, our Caesar salad, Mom? and our chicken is just finishing up. Can I put one of our doughs on the plate? Sure, you want to put one of those on the plate? I'm going to put this big one on there for you. Okay, okay, thank you. It's kind of smushy. Perfect. Well, smushy is because it's cooked. You want to just do? Sure. One with the tomatoes in it. Yeah. Little bit tomatoes. Careful. Well. So this just shows you you can get a better than takeout meal on the table for way cheaper, so more than five times cheaper than the restaurant. Better for you. You know what goes into it, and it's still done super speedy. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We'll watch for the finished pictures. Good night. Bye. Have a good day.